Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin, and welcome back to another Pal Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got the Fire Shield Earrings, or actually we didn't get them last episode, mind you. We used them to go through the center of the volcano, of Elden Volcano, to the other side. Once here, we uh, went through a gauntlet of frog switches to get to the big kahuna switch that opened up the next dungeon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head on in. Listen to that music. Okay, as much as I'd love to harp on that music, we actually have to get moving because this dungeon is quite long. And like I said last episode, I think I said it, this is going to be the episode where we break the our streak of three episodes a dungeon. I set aside as much time as, ah, really? I set aside as much time as I could um, wow, we have no arrows, man, I said it, like I was saying, I, we set aside as much time as we could to do this in as few as episodes as possible, but I am not very confident that we're going to be able to pull it off. So, this, well, th hopefully that's not a sign of what to come. This dungeon, as you can see, is full of lava, and as you can see there, we hit the spiny fruit fruits and the water inside them creates a platform that we can run across but it's on a limited timer it will soon melt and go back into the lava so you you need to hurry in this dungeon haste does not make waste now I'd love to take him down but I actually don't have arrows oh but speaking of arrows we found some in here let's go ahead and grab that fairy as well because I think we're going to need it this is a hard dungeon I mean everyone knows that as you, as you go through Zelda it gets progressively harder but this is a pretty big step up and it's not just hard it's long so you may not want to um, take a break and go to Skyloft to restock Okay, so we can insta-kill those Bokoblins and get treasure. Although it fell in the lava, so I, I guess that was worthless. Go ahead and take out these Bokoblins. When taking out archers, don't worry about your arrows because they will drop some arrows. So, at least one of them will. So, um, use your arrows wisely, but if you're dealing with them, it's fine if you shoot them. You don't have to feel guilty. Oh, no finishing blow, okay. This sword, it still surprises me how powerful this sword is. You know, if it were the god, just the goddess sword, it would take us a long, long time to take out that enemy, but we can just take him out in, what was that, three hits? Yeah, three hits. Okay, before we jump down, we got a key, but before we jump down, I see some vines over there. So let's claw shot over across the room. Is it okay? I guess that was worth it. Got some arrows out of the, out of that, and I'm really glad that we got that medium quiver. Although I should have upgraded it one more time, I might regret that later. A magma, okay. Ho ho ho! Ah, oh, the exit is last. Whoa! Don't scare me like that. I thought you were one of them damn crazy monster creeps. Oh hey, what's this? You got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts, don't don't ya? Who are you anyway? What you doing here? I'm on a quest. Hmm, I get ya. Huh? Me? 
Ah, ya. Yeah. My name's Gold. I'm I'm the big boss of the Magmas. Those digging mitts you got right there, I invented them. Haha. <laughs> ha. I make joke. No offense, pal, plays. But you don't look like the kind of guy I'd send in here for a treasure hunting mission. But what do I know? You might just surprise me. So here's the deal. Word in the tunnels there is there is a, a huge treasure hidden in these here ruins. But nobody who's nobody's who's wait. Oh, but no one nobody's who's ever seen it has come back to tell the tale. Countless treasure hunters have disappeared in here. Poof. Gone. As a treasure digger, I gotta warn you to just turn turn around and enjoy the many pe peaceful years of digging left in you, but you're gonna do this no matter what I say, don't ya? Alright then, I'm gonna let you in on an ancient, an ancient treasure hunting legend passed down through um, among generations of magmas. Every magma worth a handful of dirt knows this one. Here we go. Ye who seek the entrance to the king's treasure, look f for the old two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this and the path will open before you. You remember all that? And you're golden. Thanks. Some of my guys are searching around here for the treasure. If you get lost, holler at one of them. Okay. Thanks, bro. Also, that voice was crazy. And it constantly changed. I guess that's the mark of any, any LP here. Whenever they do voices, they constantly switch up. And I actually just noticed that, uh, look at our rupee count. Oh, wait. Before we look at the rupee count, we have to pan to show how truly massive this dungeon is. And we have half the symbol for, was that male? Yeah, male. We have 664, so when we get two rupees, guess what? We'll have that magic number that everybody raves about and everybody looks forward to. Uh, actually, that's a bald-faced lie. Where do you guys come from? Okay, uh, these are dark keys. Found in many locations, these winged monsters are attracted to dark places, such as caves. They're, they often gather in colonies and are active at night and sleep in the day. Those who come too close and awaken them often fall victim to attack. So, these keys will curse you, which is, I'm gonna use an RPG term, it's a status ailment where you can't use items or your sword. So it's similar to when you completely use up all your stamina, except you don't move slow. You can still walk and run. But using our handy powers of the whip, we can take these guys out no problem. And we didn't get that treasure. Whoa, oh, you startled me, sir. That was pure reflex right there. Man, you startled me. Okay, so I need to be more vigilant. I Vigilant. I should never tap to attack. So, through that door, um, we come in here, shoot, you should take a left, because why not? There's a little chest here in a dead end, so you're never coming back here again, so why not get the 20 rupees that are in these chests? Chest. Just one. Singular. Just one chest. Although, is there ever anything besides a red rupee stored in these chests? I don't know. I don't remember if there is or not. I want to say no. It's only red rupees. But I don't want to say that because you guys will probably say no. You actually get one of the dungeon items in one of them chests, bro. Mod. And then I'd be like, oh, sorry, my bad. And they're like, we'll never forgive you for getting one fact wrong. <laughs> nah, I shouldn't say that. You guys are... You guys are good viewers. I have a good viewer base. I'm not going to say fans because it's kind of hard for you to be a fan of me when I'm this new as an here. So, um, you'll see that lava is following us and it will surface to attack as a hand. So, what you want to do is, we can't defeat it right now, so what you want to do is just go on this platform, then it will lift it up. It's trying to kill you, but it's actually helping you inadvertently. And then you want to go through this passage. You want to climb up. 
go up as fast as you can. Well, there's no pressure. You don't have to go as fast as you can, but it's nice. There we go. And you're dead. Down for the count. And we got some arrows, and we're full on arrows. Uh, I have a feeling that there's an archer waiting for us over there. Yep, there is. Okay, so let's go ahead and take him out. Um, let's shoot him in the quiver. Let him die by the quiver. Oh, man. Okay, fine. I'll just shoot shoot him in the leg. I shot him in the back of the knee. There. There. You got an arrow to the knee joke in this LP. Now you can stop wanting that. Man, I, sh I should be fair. You hardly ever see arrowed meme jokes anymore. I mean, it just... It's just not done that much. It was it was around for a while during Skyrim's heyday, but the days of that are over. So you don't really hear those jokes much anymore. Unless you're me or Shadow Ganon. I should call him by his actual name, not his screen name. I'm used I'm used to calling him Shadow Ganon in the combo. Oh. Uh we didn't announce it, but actually, we just entered the mini-boss. I was too busy talking about names and stuff that... This is the mini-boss. This is A. B, take it away. Dark Lizalfos. This beast has superb fighting skills and uses an iron arm guard. Watch out for quick counterattacks when your attacks are repelled, Master. The creature's breath can cause a curse that will prevent you from using your sword, so I, I recommend exercising extreme caution. Okay, so this is actually a common enemy. It's just our first time meeting it. It works just like a normal Lizalfos. Just keep pressure on it. And time your shield attacks well. And you can take it out with... Ri oh, it's not dead. Okay. Is he dead now? Yes, he is. Well, he took me by surprise there, but he didn't hurt us much. Only took out, like, a heart. And we get a lizard's tail. It's the tail of a large lizard with a spiked ball in the end. Oh, I've already read this. But interesting to note is that when you kill Dark Lizalfos, the tail that appears on the ground, it, it does indeed look different from the tail that appears on normal Zalfos. But it doesn't count as a separate treasure in your inventory, so, it's really just uh, a nice little, a nice little touch. I don't know, aesthetic touch, I guess you could say. It's not really anything worth mentioning. But it's there, so I should mention it. Now let's go ahead and get those rupees that I see up there. It's kind of weird how they're asymmetric. You know, there's a red and blue rupee, not symmetrical. So, you want to grab this bomb... And actually, no, you can't. You shouldn't yet. What you should do is go over here. There's a tunnel over here. Grab one rupee and two. Fly up. And exit out here. You'll be even with... You'll be above the bombs. You can fly in a nice loop. And get her interrupted by a dark spoon. Or cursed spoon. I think I can roll this off. Okay, I can. So let's go ahead and kill him before he causes a problem. More of a problem. There we go. Okay. Now we can do what we were doing before. Beetle. Fire. Fire our laser. Fly up. We don't really need that tunnel. And we can carry this. Hopefully those keys won't bother us. And we can just fly into the dragon mouth. And we'll make him breathe fire. And now that there is a current, I didn't really explain that, you can trigger those fruit, but the sta the um, the platform will be stationary. So you have to have this dragon mouth statue breathe fire in order to create a current, which will allow this to move. No! And then you can fail the jump utterly and spectacularly, and we can't make the ride. So we have to hit the, the fruit again. Okay. Let's do this one again with feeling. There we go. 
Whenever you do something with feeling, it works better. And let's go and take out these archers and run before they cause to before that thing sinks. Grab their arrows and did we get a key? No, we didn't. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, so there's a locked door and a normal door. I presume that. Oh. Whoa, magma. You're in a pickle. That stuff looks hot. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind a little hot bath for my sore shoulders, but this is too much. What? What have we got here? Another new guard? Ha! You can't break me with interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not some sideshow for you to gawk at. Get lost. Shoo now. Okay. So, apparently he thinks we're the enemy. But we're not, so we'll try to save him. We'll set him free, hopefully without having the lava there when we do. Now, these... It looks like you could maybe possibly chop through this chain. But you can't. So, you have to progress. We can avoid... Actually, sometimes there's stuff hidden under these, so... I should take them out. Also, worth noting, and I seem to say worth noting a lot, but I should say that I'm actually recording with a new mic today. Um, uh, I'm recording with another Sennheiser PC-151. Um, I got another one because Ryan's brother had to loan us his mic every time we recorded. Well, the only time we recorded. He had to loan it to us. And also the swan keys right here, so yeah, we can go back. Now, he had to loan us his mic every single time we would record. And sometimes he couldn't, it wouldn't be freed up. So we couldn't record when he came over to my house. So I got another Sennheiser in order to get rid of that problem. I eventually plan to have maybe four Sennheisers because I have a group of four friends that I'll play video games, and I'd like to do that for the channel, for pal play, Pals Play. Um, but that's my goal. Until then, if I need um, three mics, I'll just borrow Ryan's brother's headset. Now, anyway, um, I should explain. We got the key, and we went into this room. This is actually isn't really a room. It's more like a garden, because this is open air. It looks like possibly, may possibly it was an old crater long ago and they repurposed it as a garden after this part of the mountain went dormant. That's what it seems like to me. I kind of like to picture that because it makes me think that people used to live here. And there we go. Now, there's a chest here. I have no idea what it contains, but what we want to do is above the... Oh, monster horn. Okay. I bet that's randomly generated as well. But anyway, what I was saying, there's a frog switch above that firewall. Now we can't carry these fruit, and these fruit have water in them, so we need, we definitely need the fruit. Um, but what we, what we need to do is stab them, and then, no, uh oh, no, really, man, I accidentally charged it up a scarred strike. Okay, there we go. So now what we need to do is target that, swing, throw the fruit in there with their sword, and it will turn off the the uh, propane nozzles. Okay, let's keep digging. I'm trying to find treasures, which I don't think, yeah, we don't have our compass yet or our, our map, so I'm guessing that one of them is in here. But I don't see it, so I guess it's not in here. Okay, whatever. Let's just drop down. Go ahead and get our bow out so we can take care of those Bokoblins. So let's take care of the keys first. That one. And that one. We shot him in the axe, which should not kill him. I don't know, maybe his axe is somehow part of his body. And we can take out these keys with relative ease and the blue bokoblin is this is this the hardest that this game is throwing at me seems like it 
Okay, so we can run through here. And this gate will close after us. Now, what we need to do is now we are fighting the... Let's see if we can have Fee bio them. Okay, we are fighting the ma uh, Magma Magmanos. This hand-shaped monster dwells in fiery lava. Its, its body is made up entirely of flowing magma. As such, it is invulnerable to most attacks. Theoretically, it would be possible to inflict damage on the monster if you were able to solidify its body. So, what have we found so far that can solidify its lo Ow! That can solidify magma? But the spiky fruits, of course, and we'll have this kind gentleman raise us up so we can kill him with the spiky fruit. Also, I didn't mention before, but the fire shield earrings, actually, if you're on fire, now it will it will douse the flames. And we can go ahead and hit these hit the hands with our sword after solidifying them, and it will break them into pieces. Why they don't reanimate after killing them because they just melt again I don't know but it works for us so we might as well do this one in hit he solidified hit 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 done and that will lower the magma and save our magma friend and there he is Hey! I was watching you, pal. You really socked it to those lava thingers. Amazing stuff. And if you don't mind doing one more thing while you're at it, how about you get me down from here? Okay, I'll do that. Next episode. No, I'm just joking. We can, we can let him out. Especially since this is kind of a good stopping point, so we'll let him out and then, yeah. This episode has gone very well. Uh, oh, there's a switch down there. Hit it with our whip, and that will lower him down. I don't know how they plan to low. Actually, how did the monsters even raise him up there if the switch was below lava? Hmm. I don't know. Nintendo logic. Oh yeah, I'm saved. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I owe you a big time. Are you here looking for treasure too? Uh, in a way. Well, well. No point trying to hide it. There's one, only one reason you could have, you could have, for coming so far in here. Is this lead? I think it is. I can see it on your face. You're here because of the legend of the sleeping statue, right? But those are some busted old digging mitts. You can't go, you can't go using them for treasure hunting. I got it. As thanks, I'm going to give you a replacement pair from my secret stash. Don't go anywhere. His tail almost looks like a cartoon thumb that was hit by a hammer. You know how it, it swells and glows red? That's sort of what it looks like. All yours. They've been in the buried treasure chest, so they so they ain't dirty or anything. Well, why would it matter? We're just going to get them dirty anyway. Now, these ain't the kind of thing that you can easily get your hands on just anywhere, so take good care of them. Righty then, I'm out of here. So long. Ugh, my throat feels weird it's scratchy from doing that voice so inside the chest is indeed what he's promised let's see inside the chest contains you got the magma mitts even the magma don't see digging mitts this fancy very often they don't just dig holes they also let you burrow your way underground try to find holes that you can dig into so remember that heart piece where I said you know if we find something that can uh, can do that, can find the heart piece, we'll look this place up. This is it. So now we can dig underground, and... Let's see. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's... There's a bird statue in there, so we'll crawl in here before ending it off. I'm pretty... Yeah, there is. Okay, so this is a perfect place to end it off. Thank you so much for watching. And, oh wait... No, never mind. We have a lot to go. Actually, you know what? I'll get the the outro done right now. Thank you so much for watching, 
And next time on Skyward Sword, we'll continue through the Fire Sanctuary now that we've gotten the Magma Mitts. Okay, now let's continue. <laughs> now that I've gotten that part out of the way. Hey, pal. Oh, man, I have to do his voice again. Hey, paladin. How are those mitts treating you? If you want to get a good look above ground, pry pre try pressing Z. Got it? Press Z to, to, uh, press Z to look above ground. Don't you go forgetting it. Okay. Now, by swinging the Wiimote, you can punch, and you can destroy... Um, you can destroy piles of dirt. Now, if you look up here, there is a a pile of rocks over here. Now, to destroy that, you just punch the bomb to roll it over. Now, while that happens, let's journey through. Oh, and press C. You can see above ground, so that's really useful. This is a really good item, and I'm like that. I really like it because it's useful. So, I'll see you next time for another Pal Plays Skyward Sword, where we can e explore this area further. See you guys then.